back guys it's a beautiful day here in the south of Sweden this is October at the moment as we all know winter is coming so I thought we'll talk about the top five favorite gloves that I have from Hesta let's go oh and we might throw in an extra pair there at the end stay tuned for that so the first pair should be no surprise for the guys that's been following the channel for a long time you've seen me wearing these gloves before these are the Hesta Ergo Grip Active by Finger Love these gloves, there's like no point in the year where you cannot use them. They're good for everything that you do. If you're just walking and it's windy or rainy or whatever, or if you're doing bushcraft stuff, it's just the perfect extra layer of skin with great grip and dexterity for you. So highly recommend these ones if you're going into bushcraft or going out for the outdoors. This would be a great addition to your, uh, to your kit. So Agro Grip Active, number one. So the, the same thing actually goes for the second pair. Should be no surprise. These are the felt guide gloves. These are just the mother of all gloves. I don't think there is one outdoor person or expert that disagrees that this is the best outdoor glove out there that you could possibly find. These ones I have burned in the fire. I've not lost them as you can tell, but I have burned them in the fire and they're just uh, a, a tank of gloves, I guess. They're just... Uh, Almost indestructible, I would say. Uh, these are very well used. Uh, I don't know how many years I've had them now. I have them for a long, long time. You can go and see the first video. Uh, at that time, I think I had them for one or two years. So this is probably year six or seven or so. And I know that Los uh, Felt, the guy who designed these gloves, he still has his original pair and he's running at, I think, uh, approximately like five, five, 10 or 15 years, something like that. These gloves here, they come in, uh, see that they have an inner, uh, layer there as well so you can remove that if you want to do so and just have the outer sort of shell layer really sturdy material perfect for use in colder temperatures or in the winter or late evenings when it starts to get a little bit colder as now these are also great for handling stuff or near and around the fire if you want to move uh, a piece of firewood or something like that you could do that real quick and this will uh, last but i've done that many many times um, just be careful obviously common sense here Funny side note about these ones, and again, this is not the brightest moment of my life, but it, yeah, it happened. I actually uh, met Loss, and uh, uh, I'm really keen on his stuff, and yeah, I asked him to sign these gloves just, you know, as a memory. So, kind of weird, but now it says Loss on, uh, I think, this glove here. So, if you were to find this one, it would say Loss. So, it's, yeah, not my brightest moment, but hey, it's a good story. This is pair number three. It's just a... Uh, just a liner pair. Uh, the, I use them uh, quite frequently, uh, especially in, in colder days, obviously. You can use them as a standalone glove if you're fiddling around with the camera, if you do that kind of thing. If you're just out taking pictures or you want to use your phone. They had the sort of uh, touch screen friendly uh, index and, and thumb. Uh, I think I've worn it out a little bit, sorry. Uh, but they still work great as a liner. And um, they're obviously usable with the other two pairs that I just showed, you can just Stick them underneath there and has them have them as a base layer and then you can get even warmer if it's a really cold day so that's the main purpose of these ones you can also use them when you're sleeping if it's cold and you just want to uh, warm your hands this is also a great alternative to do that uh, all in all great pair of gloves i think they're a little bit underrated maybe but uh, yeah just that extra layer principle thing that you got going on for yourself if you want to stay warm in the colder times of the year right so next up we have the hesta halogs these are not a pair of gloves that you're going to build a, a card house with, but they are very, very warm. And it, again, it's the layer principle. So you have the outer shell layer just to protect you from the elements and wind, rain and such. Then underneath that, you have the uh, inner sort of liner there, which is designed to keep you warm. And as you can tell, this is not a five finger. This is a, just a thumb glove there. So keeps your fingers together and that makes a huge difference when you're trying to stay warm uh, they have a little loop there at the top I don't know I hope you can see that you can hang them up to dry if you need to do so I uh, have adjustment here and obviously you can use them with the other pair and another adjustment here at the end so if you want to tighten them so it doesn't get any snow or anything like that inside really great for that as well and another really cool addition on these ones so you don't lose them if you're out and about and you want to take them off you and you want to do that quite frequently if you're doing other things um, so you have a little security loop there at the end and then obviously you can use the liner gloves with these ones as well this is a perfect combination so you have liner then the sort of base layer for this glove and then the outer shell layer this will keep you very very warm 
even in the most extreme uh, cold temperatures out there. Great pair of gloves. So even if you have followed the channel for a long time, you've never seen me use these gloves before, so I want to show you guys something new. These are the Hydra Seamed Sealed Mitt. And what do they do then? Well, they are the perfect shell uh, mitt for when you're walking or hiking and it's just pouring down, or if you're maybe even paddling and it's just really, really wet. They are designed to keep your uh, other gloves dry, I suppose, or you can use them. I just have nothing under now, so you can use them as that as well. And yeah, just keep dry and stay dry. Long sort of sleeve here that goes up and either over your jacket or inside, preferably over, and you can tighten it. You see, there you go. You can tighten it there and you can obviously tighten it there around the, the wrist as well by just pulling here and then you stay dry, which is really important if you're out for a longer period of time or if you're in a area where it's raining a lot uh, and yeah, you just want to be able to keep your normal gloves or just your hands dry. It's so important when you're outside uh, for an extended t period of time and it's colder as well. You just want to keep dry. Perfect glove for that. Um, also at the inner part here you have the uh, so you can take them off if you need to do so and work with your hands this is a really cool addition I'm really looking forward to use these ones in uh, the rainier days that are upon us down here in the south of Sweden at this time of year it's kind of just want to show you here I got this one in size 11 I'm usually a size uh, around 8 or 9 so this is them and underneath I have this pair this is a size 9 and underneath that I have the liner which is a size 8 so you can fit all the essential gloves that you need if you want to stay really warm and dry this is a really good way of doing that just wanted to show you guys how I intend to use them all right so on the website it says that they're waterproof and I know that you guys will ask me so I might as well just do it now my hands are dry underneath here and dip them in the water deep obviously I hope you can can you see there yeah See how it just runs off? Alright, just gonna look at my hands here. They feel dry. Yeah, 100% dry. So, this is a little bit of what these gloves can do. Maybe not diving with or grabbing stuff from the water with, but you can see how waterproof they are and you can see that how the material works as well. Everything just sort of runs off. Uh, so yeah, really nice and underrated addition to your kit of gloves there. And then yeah, I know, I remembered, I said I had an extra pair that I want to show you guys that you haven't seen before. These are the uh, Bike Reflective Long. And as you can tell by the name, they're used for biking. I do have a bike, uh, I <laughs> intend to bike a lot more than I'm doing at the moment. And these are perfect for that. So they are a little bit reflective. Uh, obviously they are nice with the grip on the handle for your bike. And as you can see, they have a little support here and here, and obviously up here as well. But another cool thing about this specific pair is that these are actually uh, also used to be uh, used with your uh, touch phone. So let's just see how that works for the moment. So you see, here I am, I got my wonderful face there. It's unlocked and there you can see I'm just riding away. So that works pretty good. Hope you can tell there. Nice story. I just wanted to take a moment and, and show this pair to you guys as well. You can obviously use these ones for uh, fiddling around with the camera. It's just want a nice grip when you're hiking. Uh, protect you a little bit from wind and rain and all those things. And just, yeah, just an outer extra piece of skin there for you. But again, I, I think my main usage for these ones are going to be riding a bike and just getting that uh, nice grip if you're going for longer periods of times and you can see the reflective material here uh, in the dark as well so yeah that was it for uh, this uh, sort of walkthrough of the uh, top five plus one favorite gloves that i have from hesta for outdoor activities uh, everything from bushcrafting hiking uh, just staying warm when you're outside and uh, biking as well so i hope you guys really enjoyed this uh, little walkthrough and if you have any questions just uh, drop them down below and i'll answer them as soon as i can and like the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.